Okay, I'm all dressed up for thrifting. I have walked the dog. I have had food. I've done some work. I've worked out and it is late in the afternoon and so I'm gonna go thrifting. I've got some very high-waisted jeans on right now. Um, and these two pieces I almost got rid of. I've had this Everlane top for many years and I've just never thought it looked good on me because uh, it's like that like super boat like swoop out the side type situation and so I was like I don't know but I tried it on I like it and then I've had this J Crew kind of like waistcoat trench coat for, for many years I've got this back in the day when I worked at a consignment shop and I've never worn it not even once so that just goes to show you what a pack rat I am but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drive out west and go to a brand new thrift store that is a chain in my city. They just opened a big one and so I'm like hoping that it is going to be very fruitful. <laughs> so I will keep you guys along for the ride. Let's go thrifting together. Right, I am here, I made it. There it is, right there. It's giant and it's it is packed you guys it is packed here so wish me luck this is gonna be fun first tip would recommend going to the thrift store early in the morning or late at night um, depending on how late your thrift stores are open but this is midday this is when it worked best for me but I think it's gonna be kind of fun and crime's kind of a big deal here in Knoxville <laughs> let's go inside I've got my mask and fresh mask and I've got some water I've got my headphones those are my second tip for you is to bring something to listen to perhaps like a podcast bring some water and a snack if you need it and then obviously your mask you don't forget that and some hand sanitizer so you're all set to go all right let's go inside <laughs> Wow, we're already off to a great start. I'm super loving this granny style sweater here. This is legit vintage from the 70s. Oh, this is really beautiful. Just a cotton cream mock neck. Wow. I always love to look at the labels. So 50% wool, 50% acrylic. I mean, that's not bad, honestly. I mean, for what we have in the stores nowadays, extra fine wool and mink oh my goodness that's beautiful this vintage cardigan uh made in great britain i think it's time i got a cart yeah that is stunning the prices are not amazing here for a thrift you know like i could spend just as much at a discount like you know getting stuff discounted but it's okay i like supporting thrift stores oh this is neat what's this oh gosh pause okay well that does not want to work out and it has a ginormous stain on it and whatever that is gross okay that's promising but too marled so i want to always look for the quality of the material and then the wear of it and then i also want to look for any damage like the stains or pulls and just looks like they've got some stuff sort of here in a category like hawaiian style shirts which is not a bad thing that's kind of in i know the young kids are into this you kids that were born in the 90s are loving these 90s things which i just can't i don't understand <laughs> like we moved away from that for a reason but i'm liking how this is organized let's keep looking around young hipsters Mmm, whoa. Got purses and belts. Ooh, chic. That's so cool. A little vintage. I love that. These little gold belt buckles. That's genuine leather. Mmm, that might be a good find. Looks like there's two identical. Probably someone gave those up at the same time. I always like with belts to start with the belt buckle. Does the buckle speak to me? 
So I know that gold buckles are kind of coming back in, which is kind of nice. Especially this style of buckle is coming back in, which again was really, really, really popular when I was a kid. But I feel like belts are kind of like, eh, I don't really go for a lot of belts. Oh, we've got loads more cases and shoes and stuff. Wow, I'm like so overwhelmed. Okay, so one of the tips that I like to give normally, normally when it's not a madhouse like this, is to start in some sections where you really will find the best stuff, which is usually denim for guys, furniture, shoes and then I like to do blazers personally speaking blazers and outerwear because that's where I really find the coolest stuff um, so I'm going to take a peek you can take a peek with me I'm gonna start with the blazers they're large I like genuinely can't believe how many people are here right now let me flip around Ooh. It's really cute. I love this Nicole Miller little plaid mini trench coat thing. You can always find great leather at thrift stores. That is a beautiful Italian leather jacket. Beautiful. Nicole Miller's designer. Oh, this really neat Esprit floral. I feel like corduroy is definitely making a comeback for sure. Some more leather and I kind of like to like, I personally go really fast through the racks to decide what I'm kind of vibing on and what speaks to me. Like this really pretty Donna Karen or DKNY camel coat, beautiful piece. I just like instantly know what's gonna be good and what's not gonna be good and just kind of zoom through based on maybe how things feel and like the color. This is a cool 90s piece. It's pretty neat. I love the piping on it. Ooh, true 80s vintage. There's a huge selection here. Now I'm into the larges. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Cocoa, but it's polyester. And then this is true vintage. This is really neat. I think this is probably actually a men's coat. It doesn't have a label. It's corduroy. It's really beautiful. Quilted lining. That would be a fun piece to wear. Another great thing to try to find at the thrift store is brand name activewear. That would normally be super duper expensive. I love this vintage gap piece brushed cotton oh that's pretty cool i like that tribal i believe is a brand name or like a designer name a little h&m red denim jacket that would be super cool to wear i kind of like that houndstooth is really in right now but i don't think that's the best quality oh so many cute things already i'm always looking for knitwear that has you know the highest quality materials that would be so beautiful if it were my size that's an extra small I like the chenille. That's pretty and cozy. When something is true vintage, you wanna make sure that it is in great shape. Otherwise, it's just literally not worth it. I like this. This is a classic piece, J. Crew. That's the outlet. These little dots here are the symbol that this is from the outlet store, but it doesn't mean it's not good quality. Checking the label, 100% merino wool. That's so pretty. Chenille is definitely making a comeback. It really is. I've seen a lot of chenille stuff on like major sites. I also really just try to have in mind like some colors that I'm looking for and some quality pieces. Like knitwear is always something I'm looking at, some blouses, and then sometimes footwear and handbags. When in doubt, always look stuff up as well. So another really good tip I have again is to see these three dots. That means this is from the outlet store. And then with Banana Republic Gap and Old Navy, you can always check to see underneath the materials tag, there should be a date tag. It will actually tell you this is from holiday 2012, so September 09 2012 so i know exactly how old this is based on that tag then i can also decide based on materials what i really like so i found some pretty amazing stuff while i turned the camera off this is a vintage um i would say not pure vintage but this is from eddie bauer which is a really nice brand known for outerwear and like outdoor gear and it's a hundred percent wool it's a really beautiful color it might be too big on me but it's really pretty 
This is a really cool find. This is um, Aaron Crafts from Ireland. This is 100% wool cardigan. It has this really neat label. It has leather buttons, and this is probably handmade, beautiful oatmeal style cardigan. It's really beautiful. Something I'm always constantly drawn to is stripes, so I'm always checking out like, okay, what's the stripe situation here? Another tip I have is to go to the thrift store with an idea in mind of what pieces you are specifically looking for. I really love this boat neck style striped shirt, but it looks a little worn. However, I am looking for kind of like button ups like this. So again, we have Banana Public Outlet size 12. That's getting close to what I'm looking for. I'm really wanting to get something you know, maybe similar to this. So possibly that. This is, looks like it would be 100% cotton. So we'll try that on. So I kind of just want to visually go to the section that I'm most interested in. Let's see, what is this? It's 100% linen, pure linen. It looks just like a tunic, maybe a shirt dress. A little too long for my taste. American Eagle Outfitters. Really pretty colors. I don't like that detail though. I also love looking up labels online to see like maybe is this label nicer? Is it from a different country? Like what's its story? I also really love looking on Instagram to see if there are styles from influencers that I really like and that maybe I can thrift instead of buying brand new. I'm always looking for silk, wool, cotton, cashmere, linen and cotton, such a good blend. That's a really nice brand. This looks stunning. Kind of has that 90s wide sleeve, pure cotton. I try to stay within a quality slash color scheme. I have a feeling this would be way too big on me, but really cool. Super beautiful, super heavyweight cotton. <laughs> this came from the same person. <laughs> they definitely had a vibe, didn't they? It's really a bummer that things are being made with less and less good quality. Okay, let's move over to the shoe slash hat section. Ooh, Minnetonka's. Some cute hats up in there. Doing a scan. Don't see anything cute at all in my size. Those are kind of cool. I like this hat. I like to just look for quality things again. Things that are in good shape and things that are good quality. Like these are amazing. These are probably $100 shoes. Sam Edelman Ballet Flats that are just, just not my size. So close, so worth it. I wish they were my size. Mom, do you want these? <laughs> Ballet flats are classic and they're basically in brand new condition, so always such a bummer when things aren't in your size. This is kind of in right now. Both the leopard print, that brand totes, and then the fact that this is a little bucket hat. It's kind of cute. I don't think I'd ever wear it, but it's kind of cute. Blazers are my weakness. They really are. My tip is to always go outside of your own size because vintage sizes run smaller than modern day sizes. So this 14 would probably be closer to a 10 or a 12. That is a really nice piece. I love that. Oh, that's pretty. A little Talbot's plaid. And then the oversized blazer look is definitely in, so you can work with that. Oh, here's an authentic vintage. It's probably from the 70s or 80s. I love those kind of cowboy western style pockets. Look at that. <laughs> so great. So another really important tip is to always check the jewelry case. They've got 14 karat gold, sterling silver, 14 karat gold plated hoop earrings. How cute are those? And then this really beautiful anklet, which I think is amazing. It's made in Italy and it's sterling silver and coated with gold. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with that, isn't it? Ugh, I'm just dying. I think I might get some of these, but we'll see. Gotta slow my roll. Okay, so got a Ralph Lauren vintage denim top, which would be super cute. Tucked in like so. And then vintage Van Heusen for women, 100% um, linen shirt. Oh, this is pretty cute. 
or like again that could be really really pretty um, but uh, maybe a little bit too like a little bit too straight if you know what I mean here's that old navy stripey thing it's like a tunic shirt so that could be quite cute tucked in you know if you really we're going for that look, or you could wear it as a pajama shirt. <laughs> I think this is so beautiful. One of my tips is to just always go with your color palette. You want to stick to a color palette. So like blues, creams, whites, um, black, navy, you know, get into the frame of mind that you want high quality, like linen and cotton, cotton, cotton fabrics and you cannot go wrong you can't go wrong i found this beautiful dkny kind of structured plaid blazer which could be very very cute you just want to look for really well made products this is a pendleton wool i mean shoot that's just too classic right there and then I showed you guys this thing, which is so fantastic and unique. Just don't see how you could go wrong with that. That is so cute. Little Pendleton. So classic. Very comfy. I'm really into that, actually. It's just a basic sweater. You can't go wrong with that. This is just divine. I mean, what else can you say? I mean, of course, it's humongous, but I think it's meant to be, you know, it's meant to be very cozy, woozy. These leather buttons, I mean, it's very hard to pass this up. <laughs> it's so cool. I feel like it, this would be an amazing around the house sweater or whatever. I don't know. It says it's $8.99. That might be the cheapest thing here. So. I think it's quite cool. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that with wool pieces like this or cashmere or anything, you need to thoroughly check for moth activity. So you do not want moths in your life. Trust me. This is too cute. I'm so impressed with this. This is 100% wool. I mean, it's a little bit, you know, big but look at the color I mean look at these colors Ooh. how cute is that I mean for winter come on you can't get better than that I don't think it's too adorable and I think this one is $10.99 so <laughs> this is the roundup and I just want to say that you should never buy stuff just because it is a good price or because it fits you, you should always, 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 always get stuff because you are in love with it. Yes, that would be awesome. Thank you. Okay.